So this is problem 79 from the 2012 AP Calc AV exam. This is the calculator section, but once again, we're looking at a, a type of question that although it appears in that section of the test, there's really nothing that we can do on our calculator to help us with this problem. So if we read through what we have, particle moves along the x-axis, seen that a bunch. Velocity of the particle at time t is given by v of t. Acceleration at time t is given by a of t. They don't give us a of t or v of t, they just kind of name them. Which of the following gives the average velocity of the particle from time zero to time eight? So I, I read average velocity and, and right away I think, well, they, they're telling me something about the velocity function. I have this formula that I should know that allows me to determine the average value of a function on a certain interval. So if I do the definite integral of the function I'm looking for the average of across the appropriate interval and then multiply that definite integral's value by one over the difference between those limits of integration, you might also have seen it as just the integral divided by b minus a. It just kind of depends on your, your teacher, your professor, your textbook, which version of the formula you've seen. Uh, but this is a formula that computes the average value of a function. So if you glance down through some of these options, do we have any of these options being applied to v of t with the appropriate values being tossed into the limits and into the denominator of this fraction that we see out in the front? of the integral expression and if you look at option b we definitely see that um, a couple other options are close to that should be obvious why d is not the correct option d is not the correct option because we don't have the right factor out in front we have uh, one half rather than one eighth this one has absolute values being included around the v of t you probably have placed absolute values around a velocity function inside of an integral like this at some point throughout your work in calculus. If I didn't have this, this if I don't have the absolute values, it's, it's representing velocity. If I do have the absolute values, it's representing speed. It could very well be the case that both of these expressions have the same value, but we can't assume that they do. Uh, if velocity goes negative, which it very well might, this calculation is going to account for those negative velocities whenever we we have them across the appropriate intervals of time whereas making those negatives positive with absolute values is going to just continue to measure the magnitude of velocity or the speed of the particle this would be the average speed of the particle one other option that's not here uh, and the reason why it's not here is because it would have been another correct answer if i had a position function and i did this if i took x of eight minus x of zero if i divided that by eight minus zero this right here is the average rate of change of position well the rate of change of position is velocity this would be a, another way to measure average velocity. It's not an option. Uh, it, it could be on a different version of the test, though. But hopefully you understood why we arrived at the option that we did.